Hello everyone. Uh, we are starting research language and publication ethics lecture. So here I am starting with uh, some topics related to plagiarism. So let's begin. Uh, basically here we are going to discuss how to write uh, plagiarism free research and we are going to discuss this thoroughly with the help of some important points right so basically first you need to learn about what is plagiarism so plagiarism is an act of using someone else work without giving them credit right so basically let's say if i have some work which i have published in terms of some research papers or i have published some work on my website or i have published some work in my book and if someone else is using it if someone else is using it without giving proper credit, it is going to be called as a plagiarism, act of plagiarism, right? Now, basically it is a very serious offense in academic writing and it can result in the rejection of your research articles. So, you, you already know that when the article is qualified for... Uh, uh, publishing in journals right uh, so at every time they are going to figure out the plagiarism content how much plagiarism it is uh, it is there right and they have set some limit the limit can be 10 percent or 15 percent or 20 percent like maybe 30 percent maximum right but these are some limitations and if your limitations crossed then your research article might get rejected, right? So it is a very serious offense. To avoid plagiarism, you must carefully cite your sources and use your own words to express your ideas. So basically, wherever, wherever, not only in research, wherever, wherever you are using the content of any other people, you must have to give them proper credit. You must have to cite them. Let's say on Facebook also, if you have posted some poster or some images, there, then there also you need to mention what are the source of that image, right? On every social media, on every social media, whether it is Facebook, whether it is Instagram, whether it is LinkedIn, whether it is Twitter, whatever, Wherever you are using the content of any other people, whether in the terms of post, whether in the terms of images, whether in the terms of videos, whether in the terms of text content, anything, anything, you need to cite because by implementing from here, you will get the habit and definitely in future you will do better with the content you are sharing. So don't forget to cite your resources, the content source from where you have taken until and unless it is not your original, right? So whatever idea you are expressing and if in that idea also if you are using someone else work, definitely you need to cite them, right? Now, so what you can do for writing plagiarism free research so if you want to write plagiarism free research right uh, you need to read and understand the copyright laws of your country basically let's say if you are working in india and if you are doing some research work then you must have to read and understand what are the copyright laws of this country or if you are working in US, if you are working in UK, wherever, you must have to understand what are the copyright laws because this will help you to understand what constitute plagiarism and how to avoid it. And definitely, if unfortunately you may got caught in some copyright cases, only these laws can save you. So you must read and understand the copyright laws. That is very important. Right now, for writing plagiarism free research, you must cite your sources carefully. This means providing the author, the title of publication with date, means author information, title of the content, title of the paper or publication date and other relevant information for each source that you use 
so you need to cite your sources very carefully you must be cautious about it and you may have to use your own words to express your ideas if you are having some ideas that you that ideas you may get from reading some content still you must have to use your own words do not simply copy and paste the text from other sources instead paraphrase or summarize the information in your own words in your own words it is very important right in your own words now you can also write plagiarism free research by use a plagiarism check what you can do that whatever you have written you can check it with some tools that i am going to let you know in upcoming lectures that there are many online tools that can help you to check wo that whatever work you have done how much percent of plagiarism it is having and by 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 finding that you can later on remove them or you can later on improve them right by using your own words so for writing plagiarism free research read and understand copyright laws right read and understand the copyright laws of your country cite your sources very carefully use your own words to express your ideas and use a plagiarism checker right now the language that you are using the language that you are using in your research article is very very important you need to use language that is very much clear that is very much concise and that is very much accurate why because in research language and selection of words selection of words are very important for writing any any research article many people write a good uh, good content many uh, art, uh, researchers uh, write uh, uh, having good ideas having good ideas but they do not have the good habit of writing they don't have writing skills because selection of words matters a most selection of words right so whatever language you are using it is very important right so whatever language you are using it should be clear it should be concise and accurate so whoever is reading your content whoever is reading your published research articles he she can understand it clearly whatever you want to speak or whatever you want to say that should be easily and accurately understandable by other persons it means that you should be able enough to convey your ideas meaningfully to others right you also need to use language that is appropriate for the target audience of your article so that is important Ulti uh, uh, ultimately the language should be proper clear concise and very accurate it should be meaningful whatever your ideas is having that should be conveyed such that exactly the thing that you think should be understandable by all other persons who should read your articles right so there are some tips for it for selecting right words right so there are some tips for selecting the right words for your research articles so what can be that you should use simple and direct language so avoid using jargon or technical terms that your readers may not understand because with the help of that what you are going to be end with you will end with the bad article right so use simple and direct language that should be easily understandable by your this uh, your uh, community right that should be easily understandable by all readers be clear and concise so get to point quickly and avoid unnecessary words because many researchers or uh, many people who write the content they may have a bad habit that they not talk about direct point quickly they create some jargons and use unnecessary content unnecessary words stories and when it is get boring at the end they convey their meaning and at that time it is very much delayed nobody is interested right so be clear and concise whatever your point is be up to the point and get to the point quickly without wasting the time of yours as well as without wasting the time of readers use active voice instead of passive voice so this will make your article 
more engaging and easier to read right this is going to make your article more engaging and more easier to use more easier to read what active voice instead of any passive voice right now use strong verbs instead of weak verbs this will make your writing more powerful and persuasive so you should have to use strong verbs verbs are like some actionable kind of thing right so you should have to be very much strong in it and it will come with the practice now proofread your work carefully proofread whatever you are writing you need to proofread it carefully this will help you to catch any errors in grammar or spelling what many do they just write it and they don't check it once they write so what happened when it go for peer review at that time it may get rejected or at that time the quality would be considered as bad and your the ranking is got decreased that is why whatever you are writing be calm be patient and give appropriate time for proofreading the content which you have written so give appropriate time for it right so by following these tips you can definitely select the right words and uh, that is going to be helpful for whatever you are writing with so basically these are some of the tips for selecting the right words for your research articles A apart from it some miscellaneous tips are also there for writing publish research articles so some miscellaneous tips uh, contains structure your article carefully so your article must be structured it should be like first you should have intro thereafter you should have to define your ideas you need to define it right you need to talk about uh, the ideas in very much uh, detailed and thereafter you can talk about the results or what you want to do with that thereafter you can discuss that uh, what are some future scopes and what are some discussions that can be made on that and thereafter you must have to properly conclude it right so depends it can it should not be like that but it depends it depends from paper to paper it depends from content to content it depends specific to the topic right so structure your article carefully each selection of your article should have a clear purpose it should not be like that once you started your article and uh, at just uh, just by reading few lines or few sentences or few paragraphs once don't understand anything they don't get connected the structure they don't get con have the connectivity between one paragraph and another paragraph so at that time they will avoid to read your articles in future also right so it should follow logically from previous section right now the second point that is going to be helpful for writing good publishable research article is use evidence to support your claims so let's say you are uh, you are mentioning any particular kind of claim you are saying that this is that and this is like that and this is a fact so you have to mention you have to give proper evidence that in that book this is mentioned at page number this by this by this publisher or by this author so you can also support your claims by mentioning the source of websites from where you have taken the content and uh, from where you have uh, uh, just uh, took the content or you have referred the data so you have you must have to support your claims because this means citing is relevance your citation should be relevance in research studies that is going to provide data backup for your arguments right and uh, your readers will get each and everything there right so it should be like reliability be objective and impartial avoid express your own opinions or biases in your writing right because uh, uh, it should be like that whatever objectives are there it should be impartial you should uh, not have to involve in it by giving your own opinions or biases you just need to use the data and what data are saying you need to conclude them right use a professional tone this means avoiding informal language or slang by following these tips definitely you can increase your chances of getting research articles published these are very important tips i hope that uh, for research language and selection of words for writing publishable research articles this is going to help you a lot right 
so guys in uh, next lecture i am going to talk about philosophy and ethics so stay tuned and uh, subscribe and if you are having any confusion comments queries please feel free to ask so be ready for the discussion of next lecture that is philosophy and ethics right okay guys have a very nice day jai hind jai bharat